<laughs> Real cats. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, oh, hey Cuba, <laughs> catch! <laughs> Ew, Cuba, look, you're a real pig. Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. <laughs> uh, love, love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop, then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course. Uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan. But a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain, you know? Don't you worry, buddy, because we're going to dress you up. <laughs>
much better now. As good as a swan. Right. Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> <laughs> don't get upset, Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic, even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. Stay where you are, Piggy. I am going to eat you for lunch. Oh, no! It's a wolf. Let's run. Don't worry. Our Cuba... He's so brave, he'll beat any wolf. A whole pack of wolves. Oh, ow! Whoa, oh! Whoa, oh! I burped! Oh, no, oh. no! Lotta, stop! Oh. oh, it really hurts! Oh, you're a hero! Oh, oh, oh! Oops. I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you.
skin of the sun. Okay, Mom, I'll go now. No, don't be too late. All right, Mom. Hey, you, Chubster, can you find a better place to sit? He's a striped wool sack. <laughs> Let him be. Mapa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. Huh. Have you learned how to run? Oh, I'm gonna wait for you over there. What's wrong? Oh, it's so high. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leap there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one fat gonna visit the other. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be late with the Pandicas. Well, well, where is it? Okay. Ah, oh, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. The tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, Oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. Papa Pandiga, was he as fierce as you are? No. A saber-toothed bear. He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-toothed bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get the skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun sitting down there. And today's the Equilibrium Day. Hurry up! The skin of the sun? Thank, Thank you, you Mama Pandiga! I have to get this skin! Leo! What do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig. We're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down. Just look at me. That's it. Okay. No! Leo, 
Are you okay? We've surfaced! Where are we? Well, we're... It seems that... We're lost. We are? Where should we go now? Back home? Up the river? Oh, no. We're never going to make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way. And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Baba Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! <gasps> Leo, look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> Tig, stop talking! Let's run! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> The cave of the saber-toothed bear! We can't go further! Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Hey guys! Over there! <laughs> Alright, fellas! Everybody climb up this tree! On me! Sun is gonna set soon! Faster! Faster! Run, Tig! We gotta get there before the sun goes down! Leo, I think we'd better go back. Come on, Tig! Forget it! Stupid skin. Maybe it doesn't even exist. No skin? What are you talking about? It must be there. Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down. So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there. The rock is so close. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're so high. Is this the place? Shh, keep quiet. This is the cave of the saber-toothed bear. Whose cave? You mean the saber-toothed? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Me neither. Look there. The stone claw. Let's go! <laughs> Leo! Careful! Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there! I'll bring the skin! The skin of the sun! I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest! Come on! Go down now! What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? The skin is mine! Buzz off while you can! No way! I'm here to get it! And I won't leave without it! What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you! Leo! I'm coming! Too busy running away, I don't notice any saber tooth bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. You're the bravest tiger in the world. <laughs> <gasps> Sounds like a saber tooth bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> Must be the saber tooth bear. No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home and fast. 
Everybody has a skin. But to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. <clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the tiger. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the tiger is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh! But here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Dear. Oh, dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one? Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. I swear. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here I come. Aha! Uh -huh. Tig, I found you. Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! There! There! No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too. Oh, oh a cave! I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me! Oh! What darkness! This is a good spot to hide. Huh? Uh, what is this? Is anyone here? Uh, I think I'm lost. Can you please show me the way back home? <laughs> Thanks. So, does this mean that I should go there? She would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look! It's Mila's flower! She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, fine. You win, Leo. I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. Leo, where are we? We're in a cave. 
And Mila was definitely here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing. Oh, wow. Rah. Look, Tig. Whoa. You're on tracks. Awesome. Tig, hurry up. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ah, Leo. Wait for me. Don't leave me alone. <sighs> Mila, Mila. <sighs> <sighs> Can we take a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! <sighs> okay, fine. Right behind you. lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, uh. Mila, don't be afraid. Oh, I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait, who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, oh, well, but these pretty thing. crystals started to show me the way. Crystals? Yeah, Mila, I think I got it. It's the spirit of the tiger. Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff. I know how to get out of here. We'll get help from the spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger is the soul of nature. He's everywhere. Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the tiger! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that. Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Ah! <laughs> 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 
Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Dick, how about that? Exactly what you asked for. Really fast! Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home. Hurry up! You're unbelievable. Today. The spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. Dag, you're it! Not fair! Cause you... you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know. You wanna hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Mila, sing? Mila, let's play tag instead! <laughs> Tig is it! No, I'm not! Not anymore! <laughs> Just you wait! <laughs> Winter tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song. Right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, Spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Leo, are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! <laughs> What should we do now? How can we put him back to sleep? Wait, 
what to do. Here goes. Beelzy will fall asleep again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Oh, boy, it's heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So... 
up with his front paw in his mouth. Mila, why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby. Bear, rest your head. Have no fear. <laughs> oh, come on. What's so funny? I'm not that bad. <laughs> like, like mole in his burrow, like, like fox in, in his hole. And, and afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air so warm. But for now, you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make... can make a miracle. The Silver River. Are you sick? Oh, no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River! Just like in my dream! Whoa! Leo, Leo, no, Leo! This is just a bunch of moths. Come on, Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Um. Mappa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mappa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver but only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. 
and then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save yeah. him, and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock. What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> <laughs> Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially the cool. Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! <laughs> ah! Hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> So, uh, where's the Silver River? Go! Go over there, to the very edge! I can't see anything!
like you found your Silver River after all. <laughs> Woohoo! No, Tig. It's not the river that I found. I found the most important and the most valuable present on Earth. I found true <laughs> friends. <laughs> Tiger Kids is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. Autumn in Tiger. I hate autumn. Leo, move over. Snake! There's a snake! Snake? Snake! Ah! There's a snake! snake! Where? Over there under that tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail. <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it, wearing a new one. Huh. That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mappa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root was ginseng. Ha <laughs> ha! The sun! Finally! <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, let's go to... Uh, to eat some grapes! Oh! I'm a little under the weather. Ugh, and my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga. It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Uh, Singji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? 
No, Teak. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. that Whip Snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. Who's a leech here? Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no, we don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <gasps> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause, to help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Can cure any disease. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Now, wait.
most valuable part is in the ground. It's the root that's the most magical. Take it and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> Why do we even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games? And look, look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, our so tiger is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> look at that! <laughs> you know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. Far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So if you see the red deer, run. <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer. Yes, we can go out now. Yippee! <laughs> well then, <laughs> off we go. Goodbye, Mappa Pendiga. Bye, Mappa Pendiga. Bye, bye. It wasn't scary at all, that story. I don't know. It seemed pretty scary to me. Where's Leo? Guys, come over here. Leo, where are all the trees? I think someone ate them. Oh, it was scary. Evil. The red deer. Ah! Yara, it wasn't <laughs> funny. On the contrary, very funny. Good, it's going really well. Come on, come on, come on. Push! Let's get another log, lads. Wow! <laughs> so that's where all the trees went to. Mr. Beaver, what are you doing here? Can't you see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. It's a bridge. I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. <sighs> no, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Oh, wow. Look. 
Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge. Ah, oh, the great cedar, the father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go. <laughs> What if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <laughs> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> it was just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... Has <laughs> anyone seen my Marty? Marty! Marty! Where are you? What's wrong? What happened? My son is missing. Marty, my poor baby. Missing? Just wait. I'll find him. We're coming with you. No. Take, take everyone to the river. I won't be long. All right, come on. You heard Leo. We're going to the river. Follow me. You don't need to worry. We're on it. We'll find your baby. Marty! Marty! Yo, Marty! Oh! That's where you are. Marty! You hear me? Marty! Huh? <laughs> we need to leave! <laughs> Long. I hope they didn't get lost. Oh, no. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! <laughs> Marty! Oh, that's my Marty! Mommy! I'm here! Trees are gonna burn down! 
Come on, come on, come on! And two, and three, yeah! And again! The red deer! It's too close! Oh, we're not gonna make it! Jump on the wall! Quick! Go in the water. Tig, again? Really? <laughs> it's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Uh, I'm I'm in in shit. Shit. I guess we pulled it off. We did, huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We stopped the red deer! Kids, are you all right? I was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> hey, look. Now there's four leopards among us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm a leopard. Okay, five. Guys, watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all it's all because of the wind. <laughs> Sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. <laughs> Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the... The snake bit me! Tig, <laughs> 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 relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Milo, watch out! A vulture! Oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the ah, forest! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh. Oh. Phew, that was too close. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet again! <laughs> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. <gasps> Maybe he's... a little weird? I got it! That must be why the other turtles ditched him! Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will! Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him! Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby 
tea. Remember, Baby T, Tiger is the Tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T, do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Roar! <laughs> Well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. And who's that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train Little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet! But he won't be, because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys! Does it really even matter? He's just a baby! Oh, guys, guys! W where is T? Baby T, come out! Say something! We're here! Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo, T, where are you? Say something. Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up. It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river. <gasps> but guys, the vulture. <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> Hey, you! 
back over, little baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off baby T. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T! Save yourself! <laughs> Together. <laughs> Look, it's her. It's the wise turtle. Goodbye. Swim, T. This is your family. And well, I wanted to say you were one awesome tiger and a brave leopard. Don't forget to ride! Off with the feathered ones. See what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoo, feather freaks, get moving. Your presence here, we're disapproving. Messing with my sleep, boo. Well, I say shoo. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoo, feathered one, shoo. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait. 
Hey, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, oh, stop it. Cut it out right now. Stop <laughs> leaving. <laughs> the birds are leaving. <laughs> Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan. And Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. <laughs> Rose, no, no, they can't be. My, my mom told me. Where did me they come from? That they, that they suck the blood out of everyone. Oh no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mappa. He must know. going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martens. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 oh. The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us. Spirit. 
spirit of the tiger and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the tiger. Please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the tiger, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Build your nest. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing the song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long. Just to to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas Cup. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right, winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins, let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas tournament open. <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy. Show them how it's done. <laughs> 
The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. Done, guys. And the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. See you in the finals. <laughs> See you later. Take this! Ugh. Miss me? Ugh. Miss me again! Ooh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. <laughs> <laughs> rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. What's going on? Calm down. Run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? Well, we wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard or have a holiday. Yeah, or have holiday magic either. <laughs> We could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo! The Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Hooray! 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 Hooray!
It's amazingly huge. Tig, I have a plan. Was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration. good for your health. Whew. In that case, can you breathe a bit faster? We're running late for Mappa. <laughs> hi there, Mila. Oh, hi, guys. Perfect timing. I had a nut roll under these roots. Can you help me get it out? Pretty please. Mila, have you seen the size of my paws? Look, they're huge. They won't fit in there. Mila, sorry, but Mappa is waiting for us. We'll definitely help you, but later. The story of a hero. So today, children, I'm going to tell you the story <laughs> about the Nightingale's song. But Mappa Pandiga, Nightingales again? Can you tell us something heroic? That's right. Like about battles and stuff. <laughs> Heroic. <laughs> about battles and stuff. Okay, I've got something for you. It took place a long time ago. Back then, all animals in the forest lived peacefully together. No one hurt anyone. But then, something bad happened. From a faraway land, a great pack of wolves came to the taiga. 
The wolves were vicious and bloodthirsty and pestered the lives of the forest residents. The animals lost their peace. They got together for a council to decide who was going to defend their home forest. But no one dared to challenge the fierce wolves. Only one animal, the strongest, fastest, and bravest of all, stood up to the wolves. The battle continued throughout the night. It was tough on our hero, but he never backed down and chased the wolves out of the forest. Woohoo! He really showed them wolves. Huh. Oh, Mappa Pantiga. So who was that hero? A leopard, right? Why would you think it's a leopard? It was a tiger for sure. Some say it was a leopard. Some talk about a tiger. It was a long time ago. Well, children, go now, and I'm... I'm gonna have a nap. Tig! Let's play the hero game! Okay, Tig. I'll be the hero, and you'll be the wolf. Go ahead, try to howl! <clears throat> howl! No, that's not working. It doesn't sound like a wolf. It sounds like a chipmunk. You are the chipmunk. Chipmunk. <gasps> Tig, try to howl in here. Wow! <laughs> Now? Leo, hold on. How come I have to be the wolf? I want to be the hero. Oh, no. The hero was a leopard. But Mappa said that... Mappa just didn't want to get you upset. Maybe he didn't want you to get upset. Everyone knows that the hero was a tiger. Because tigers are stronger than leopards. Stronger? Whatever. The leopard is agile. No, I disagree. I play the hero or not at all. Tig, let's make a deal. Whoever's the first to the top gets to be the hero. Okay, you got a deal. Hey, that's not fair! Well, don't be so slow then. <laughs> Try and catch up! Wanna give up? Lil! Try to keep up! Wait here, I'll be right back. I need to show Tig who the real hero is, and then I'll come back. Mila, have you seen Leo? Yeah, he ran that way. Tig, will you help me? This is a bad time, Mila. I need to beat Leo first, then I'll come back. Stay where you are, don't go anywhere. How could I go anywhere? <laughs> Look at that! A weasel! Poor thing got trapped! Shall we help her? Uh-huh, yeah! And also have a lunch! <laughs> <laughs> well, who's the hero now? Huh? Well, hero, wanna give up? Heroes never give up! <laughs> Do, don't let go! 
Uh, I won't! Uh, climb up on me! You sure you won't fall? I'm sure. Leopards are strong. Climb on! You know, Tig, the whole racing idea was really stupid. We could just take turns playing the hero. First you, then me. You're right. But I think I should go first. <laughs> Mila! Something happened! Let's go! Ah! Here! Take that! Ah! Shoot! How do you like that? Stop that right now! How about this? Ah! Ah! This is not gonna help you anyway! Leo! Teague! Where are you? Ah! That's fine! You are about to run out of those pine cones! Yeah! <laughs> Leave Mila alone right now! Or I'll... Oh, more food! Come over here, my delicious... <laughs> Who did you call food, huh? Leo, let's show them. <laughs> Grab him! <laughs> let's just throw them out of here! <laughs> We already have less spicy food! <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Get away from me! Don't! <laughs> Boss! What was that? Wolves? Nonsense! What wolves are you talking about? Angry! And hungry. <gasps> Boss, they're here. It's definitely wolves. All right, let's leave. It's better to stay out of their way. <laughs> you got lucky, Weasel. Uh, oh, oh, uh, this time. <laughs> Leo! You have to be very careful! Wolves are coming! It's okay, Mila. There are no wolves. It was all taking me. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <gasps> you sounded just like real wolves! <laughs> I even got a little bit scared. <laughs> Here's that nut. Thank you, guys. You know, you are my heroes. Tig, I've got an idea. Maybe the hero that chased away the wolves wasn't alone. Maybe there were two of them? Yeah, that's right. A tiger and a leopard. We can both be heroes. And Mila can be the wolf. Let's go play. Hey, <laughs> why me? I don't want to be the wolf. Wait, guys! Come on! That's not fair! Leo! Tig! The most precious thing. Tig! Are you still sleeping? Come out here! Boom! Who's oh, sleeping? I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ready, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race to there. Hey, wait! That's not fair. You have to say on your mark and ready. Cause, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. 
You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week. Uh, Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest. Two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, Please, help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. And suddenly, he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Teague! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig! We completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! <laughs> Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! <laughs> Competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three-time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark? And get set! If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. 
Or you wouldn't have won. Oh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times. And I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo! What was that? I think it's coming from there. From, from the, the wild, wild woods! Help me! Somebody save me! <laughs> help me! Please! I'm scared! <laughs> please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Please, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! No. Please! I'll get him! Please! Hey! Help. Hurry up! Please! Leo! Please! Help. I can't go any further! I need to take a break. Pig, there's no time for a break. Come on, champion. Let's go. But I'm not a champion. You're the Dang. winner. Now is not the time. We need to save that poor bunny. I can't, Leo. Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help. Find him no matter what. Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> I want my mom. Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Beautiful rainbow! Leo! Leo! Is so Tig, cool. we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig. He made it. That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! I told everyone the truth, that you're the real winner. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig, forget about that. It's all good. Get us out of here already. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna... Ha! Train harder! <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, Mila. We're off to get more branches. 
You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm gu... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> all right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey, get on over here now, shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah! You nailed him, guys! Mila, don't be afraid! <laughs> I'm not, you know! Hold on! The help is coming! Martins, shoot down that, uh, butterfly! Oh, you're all alone now. <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone. Ah, the spotted one. This is our fortress. It used to be. It's not anymore. So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! <laughs> ah, oh. You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson! And don't try to scare me again! I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. <gasps> Look here. This is Beelz's lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it! And then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them, boom, and that was it. The fight was over, and I'm like, don't you come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Leo, we should run. Scared much? That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys, does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. We'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait, Leo, did you see it? 
We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. We get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You are our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mapa Pandiga? So there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? Ha. <laughs> Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Tyga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> <laughs> You! Tig! Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs> rewarded with a delicious raspberry. <laughs> oh, these are good raspberries. <laughs> Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> Time to wake up. What if we skip it today? 
I'm so sleepy. <laughs> you sleepy heads. Go, line up. Suck in that gut. And now, <laughs> some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you. <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you. Now get to the hollow. Where? To the hollow. Ready and aim. with you. Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here. Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey, all hands on deck. Drop anchor. Aye, aye, Captain. Set sail. Captain. Buy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses. Aye, the spy glass, Captain. Helm to port. Aye, helm to port. Ensign, hoist the colors. Aye, hoisting the colors. the boat out! When you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal! <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh yeah! Awesome! But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <gasps> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mama's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the boarders ready? Boarders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> Hi, Mappa Pandiga! Oh, we're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Hmm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? Of course, go on, Mila. When we are together, we're strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates, cannon on board! <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah! <laughs> Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike. Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Striped come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. 
Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> So, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't even have stripes on his fur? And Mila went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! <laughs> 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 Nobody's gonna help you. Yo ho ho! No, no one will save you now! No, oh, no, so sad. <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play. By yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <gasps> hmm. Help! What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Tig, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we come! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> tricked by the Martins. Don't worry about it. You and I are best friends forever. Boys, what's that in Leo's paws? Huh? In my paws? 
twigs. Yes, the twigs, which can only be broken 